Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing a video on Minecraft Education Edition. So this is the Minecraft PE version, so on the iPad, but you can get it also on your computer and it works both ways, so that's awesome. Now, I'm going to be explaining what you get in this app and with when you've bought it, of course, and also different features like how to join other people and things like that. So let's get started. First of all, when you press play, you have this um, menu. So there's view my worlds, which we'll go to later. There's library. So you've got lessons, monthly build challenges, biomes and worlds. And if you want more lessons, there are more online to download. So there's computer science. You use this agent, maths. You've got chemistry, biology and things. You've got language arts, history and culture and art and design. Okay, and if you want to join someone, you just go here, and then you ask the person for their code. So it could be like, I don't know, a quill, a balloon, a water bucket, and a potion. And then you press confirm, and their world, you'll join their world. So, if you want to play with someone else, this is how you join them. Okay, so now that I've shown you this, I'm going to show you generally... This is like Minecraft. There's everything that normal Minecraft has plus additional things and it's really cool in my in that sense right so let's just show you what we can do okay so I'm going on to the world I made for this right I'm on survival now and I'm just gonna go back to the beginning so that you guys don't see anything that you're not meant to see yet okay perfect so we've got here an NCP which is basically a like a villager but he they talk so if I tap him he says hello I'm professor Emily my assistant snowflake will give you an introduction on minecraft education edition hope you enjoy the video so these guys you can program to do all sorts of things they have commands and whatnot then we have slates posters and a board so you can edit this all the way through anytime so these are better than normal signs and they come in different sizes next we have the deny and allow blocks so this is a allow block and this is a deny block basically a deny block prevents you from breaking anything that's on it so as you can see this is what it does and the allow block hang on allows you to break stuff now the point of this whole thing is that you base so, oh my God. the point of it is that you if you place this all the way up to the sky up to the max block level you are not allowed to break it which is why this block is here so you can place this block above this one which will cancel the effect of this block if you put that one on top Hope I didn't confuse you too much with that. Okay, so these are some elements. Now, I did say you can do chemistry, and you can, and it's actually amazing. So, we have here different tables. So, we've got a element constructor, lab table, compound creator, and material reducer. I will be going into more detail with these things in a different video. Okay, so here we have um, some stuff. Underwater TNT, underwater torch. I will be showing those in a moment. So here we have balloons. Now you can make these using these crafting, these tables. I will do a separate video on that too. And it's very simple actually. It, it's, it's more complicated than it seems. The thing is, you can't actually craft these things. So if you search it up, um, balloon, you cannot craft it at all. The only, it doesn't come up with a crafting recipe and you can't get them on creative. You need to create them, which I think is a really cool thing. Here we have a different colored torch. There are different colors. You just use different types of um, chlorine and add them to torches. This here is a camera. So I have my portfolio and I have taken pictures of things. So there's a camera on the front page. Then we've got colored torches, balloons, chemistry, elements, deny and allow blocks. And we've got different boards as well. Now, if I press this thing here, take picture, and then I do a pose, whee, then it takes a picture and disappears. So, I have this picture now, and I can name it anything I like. Okay, so next up, I'm going to just show you the TNT before I get to this coding dude. Okay, so, underwater torch. It does that, and you can go underneath the water, and it does improve 
the light a bit. But the point here is that it prevents mobs from spawning in the water, which I think is really good. Um, right, and now I'm going to show you the underwater TNT. So normal TNT, when it blows up underwater, it hardly does anything. Whoa, okay. As you can see, it's very powerful. It knocked me off my feet even though I was above the water. Okay, these things here you've probably seen, and what they do is they prevent, they're like barrier blocks. They prevent you from crossing all the way up to the top of the world. Um, unless you're in world builder mode, you can't cross it. So if I jump on here, yes, so normally on a normal fence you'd be able to cross. I can't cross because these are like barrier blocks. Um, I'll try it over here too. As you can see, I can't cross. This is a really cool feature if you just want to keep people in a certain area and you don't want them moving anywhere. So, here we have my robot friend. He's called an agent. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to code him to... I'm going to tell him to build this wall. And I'm not going to show you the commands because they're boring and if you, you're probably not here for that right now But I will do a separate video on that soon now what you need to do is you need to go into your coding thing um, Press what it is whatever project press. Okay start and Then I'm just going to type in this wall and then I press the, the slot number one And I think I want him to build 30 blocks now you go up and he will start building and you can watch if you like and once you he has done enough you want to press the robotic button at the top again so it stops it do that and now you can break this block because it's one too many now so that is something that the robot can do there are lots of other things that the robot can do like spawn flowers make huge spheres build huge turrets and things like i said i will be going in depth on that in a different video so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below like i said you can make different colored of these balloons oh i didn't mention that you can actually make things like sparklers and glow sticks and things. They run out, but they are super cool, and I will be showing them in a different video too. So until next time, guys, bye!